you guys this video received so much love and so much hate at the same time it was, it was more so of a hey you can use straight hair to do your crochet braids so i'm going to recreate that but i'm going to show you guys a trick for those who are still struggling at this at the top i got a tricky tricky trick for you guys crocheting the whole head. I've done the back and there is a lot of length to this hair. So I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna show y'all, don't worry. Some people are cool with the knots as long as they're neat. Um, and you wanna just go make sure when you're at the top, of course you go back to back to back to back to back. You place them, you use really small pieces and you literally place them right next to each other. Some people despise the knots. So they use the invisible knot method. Others can't do the invisible knot method and get frustrated. I don't want y'all to get frustrated. So I'm going to tell you what to do if you don't like the knots, but you can't really grasp the invisible knot method. You get you one of these babies. And this is just a basic closure. Ladies and gentlemen, get you a closure. And this one was... Um, this is also for model model. I wanted to, you know, keep it within the same um, brand. So this is a model model closure, you guys. And it's 16 inches. I'm going to actually press this out because um, my beauty supply only had body weight. They didn't have straight. So I'm going to press it out so it can match this. But yeah, just so you own a closure, honey. Y'all know how I do. If y'all have not seen my other videos, watch my other videos to see how I work these closures. We're gonna pluck this part, make it a little bit more realistic looking, and then I'm going to add um, foundation that's like closer to my shade on the back so it looks more natural. Then we're gonna cut off this excess lace on the front, plop this bad boy down in position, and what you're gonna be sewing is this extra edge of closure and um be fabulous so yeah let's do this 